Hello and welcome to another Japan Crate opening. Today, as you can see, we have the Christmas 2022 Japan Crate, or the December 2022, I guess, but Christmas happens in December. You know what I mean. So, as you can see, the box is decked like, like the holes with bows of holly. I don't think there is any holly, actually. Wait, is there? No. It's just a big Christmas tree. I really like the art, actually. There's some nice uh, presents and stuff. We have Mary Curie uh, there, which could be read as Mercury. Um, don't gift anyone Mercury for Christmas, because it is poisonous. But no, that that's the shortening. I can't remember what the phrase for it in Japanese, but in the same way that Pokemon is Poketo Monstazu, but it's Pokemon. It's like the first two syllables of each word. Meri Kuri is Meri Kuri Sumasu. Um, so yeah, so th that's really cute. There's some um, there's some nondescript sacks as well. We've got some Christmas lights and a, and a bauble as well. We got the kind of Christmas jumper kind of thing. Man, honestly, if I saw a Christmas jumper with some of those um, gates, Shinto gates, I can't remember what they're called. If if I saw a jumper with that on, I I might be kind of tempted. We got Godzilla. Um, teaming up against a, a tree. Uh, that is their social media if you want to follow them and stuff. Got lights there, we got the same thing there, and on the back is my address and everything and a brief thing about KFC. So I tried to peel the sticker off uh, down there but it just started peeling the paper off <laughs> so we're not going to read that because I can't. Um, that is the downside of getting Japan Crate. You get about five different shipping labels just like slapped everywhere. Um, if they've written anything on it, well, you're not going to be able to read it. I, I could have maybe peeled it off, but I didn't have eight hours to spare. Uh, hopefully inside they'll mention it, but for those of you who don't know, in Japan, every Christmas, it's sort of a tradition. It's not like a super, you know, widely held tradition, but families do book tables at KFC to go have um, a meal there. Because it's kind of like turkey, chicken, turkey. I think KFC in Japan actually do do turkey. And I think they do like Christmas meals. Um, but yeah, it's become sort of a tradition. Japan doesn't really celebrate Christmas the way that the US and the UK and other places do. But you know, they like to get in on it because, I mean, why not? It's fun. Uh, so, I'm guessing they did actually mention KFC by name, as in the brand at the back. I reckon we're going to get some KFC themed stuff here. Uh, which is quite exciting because I know American viewers will be like, nah man, Popeyes, or like Little Caesars. Does Little Caesars do chicken? I don't know. Um, oh, the best. Well, we, we don't have that in the UK. I, I couldn't compare KFC to Popeyes. Cause I, uh, there's only KFC in the UK. There are like other chicken chains. But anyway, let's take a look. This is the cheat sheet. As always, I'm not going to show you guys inside. Experience Japan through Christmas. Merry Kuri. That's uh, very cute. Uh, 2022, yay. 2022-22. got some fish and stuff. Uh, we've got, oh, okay, what does this say? So this is Kurisumasu Chicken. Um, if you want to pause it to read all of it, but basically this just describes what I just described about families going to KFC for, uh, for Christmas. Uh, oh, there's some gachapon there and there's a cat. Uh, there we are. So that is uh, that's the big crate you can win and stuff. That is the other crate or the Sugoi. Ah, oh, that's the Sugoi crate. That's the community thing. I can't open it any further because that will show us what's inside. Anyway, I've rambled on enough now. I'm just gonna grab things. I'm gonna grab the first thing. Ooh. Oh, okay. I th hmm. I think we've had. I don't think it's this brand, but um, Bamo, Bamo, Bamo. Baeku, um, which basically, I think that means explosion, bamo bamo. Um, yeah, I don't think we've had it by Meisan before, but this is basically, it's a dipping kind of thing, I think, uh, with lots of sherbet at the bottom. You, you, you know the drill, you put the, like the cola flavoured thing usually into this and it crackles in your mouth. Let's take a look at what this is. Sorry, I read uh, Chi as Mo. Uh, Mo actually goes the other way. Uh, Pachi, uh, this is Pachi Pachi Cola. And as I said, yeah, it's the kind of dipping candy thing. Um, 
So yeah, so more the bottom faces that way and is more uniform. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, that is Patchy Patchy Cola. Next up, ooh, we've got some gummy stuff, maybe? Uh, we have Fumiruru. Fumiruru. Famiru. No, no, hang on. Um, Fumi no Reru. Okay. Um, they, oh, wait. Hang on, now I'm confused. The, okay, the illustrations are different. Those are koalas. Um, are these? Oh, ah, I see. Okay, so there is um, Fudo, Fudo, Budo, Rinko. Uh, nice. Okay, well, we've got grape and orange, I think. Very right, nice. Right, let's check out what these koalas are doing. This is plenty of fruit gummies, um, and they are apple and grape flavoured. Also says to put them as a stocking stuffer. Now, I don't know if that means we're going to get multiple packs of this, possibly, um, because I don't know. Otherwise, I'm not going to open it up and just put one or two sweets in a stocking. That would be weird because if it gets warm, that'll just stick to things. We have ooh, ooh, we have some cherry stuff. There's some kanji I don't re recognise, and then I recognise gumi. So these are probably cherry gummies. Ooh, it's very decadent though. Um, I think is it ah by Meiji, right? I think we got grape ones about two or three uh, crates ago. I think let's check what this is. These are dark cherry gummies. Are they regular gum cherry gummies? No, this is the dark variety. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, it says they can be paired with Christmas cakes for a balanced taste or something like that. Uh, oh, hey! Oh, I can't, that is all kanji apart from... That's all kanji as well, good lord! Okay, well we got a traditional um, samurai looking dude, I guess. Good lord, this is... I'm guessing it's like gum of some kind. That is yet again kanji. Man, this is not for children then. Because uh, kanji is usually something that like... Older kids and teenagers start learning. I think, I think kids from like about five or ever start learning kanji. But um, I do not have the Japanese mental age of anyone older than five. Apparently. Anyway, let's go see what this is. This is Hyoroku mochi, uh, and so this is like mochi, I guess, and is packed with green tea flavor. I am fully sold on this. This. Um, this quickly went from like, oh, it's probably like mint gum or something, to oh my god, I'm excited for this. I think I've had similar ones before where it comes in that weird plastic wrapping. Do you feel like you need to take off the mochi? But it isn't. It's edible wrapping, I guess, is how you describe it. Um, because it gets incredibly sticky if you try to remove the like corn go wrapping. Hey, we got more mochi, I do believe. Um, which does make sense, actually, because... Uh, New Year's and Christmas and stuff in Japan is big for mochi. Saida, um, shan, shamban, sham, champagne cider. Oh my god, is that champagne? Okay, cool. Obviously, it's just going to taste of cider. It's not going to taste of champagne. And it's not going to contain champagne. But these are like little mochi squares that you get a. Uh, there we are. You get a little pick there. So you meant to like pierce one and eat one. I want to say that says champagne cider. Champagne cider gummy, I was correct. Uh, and yeah, they're champagne cider flavoured. So I don't know if champagne cider is separate to like a type of cider, I suppose. It's like, I, I don't know. Ooh, ooh. Diamond. Diamond ring can. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm aware of these. So they come on like a plastic ring and it's like a hard, um, hard lollipop kind of. Thing. Not like a frozen ice lolly, but like a regular sugary lollipop. And that looks like a diamond that's on your finger. Wet, and it's probably cola flavour, because that says cola. Um, Alright, let's take a look. This is Diamond Ring Candy, and it also says it's easy to wear whilst you wrap this year's Christmas gifts. I'll be honest, this is just a public service announcement. Don't don't be eating sticky sweets when you wrap presents. It's just going to like mess up. Uh, the wrapping paper. Oh, yo! Let's go, it's lemon tea! This is, um... Fuyaki. No, oh god, what are they called? Uh, Taiyaki. Taiyaki. So these are kind of, um... 
Oh, I think the top has come off a little bit. I think you might. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. Um, so these are kind of like baked fish, basically. It's like a pastry thing. These ones, obviously, are they're like wafery. Lemon tea is really interesting. I don't think I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had lemon tea flavored anything. Um, like snacks or whatever. That's green tea or lemon, but never lemon tea. That's cool. Right, let's see exactly what this is. This is Puku Puku Thai Lemon. Uh, so I think Puku Puku Thai or Puku Puku is the name of the um, Puku Puku. Ah, Puku Puku Thai. Yeah, okay. There we are. Um, yeah, so that's the name of the brand, maybe. Um, yeah, I've had some of these before. They are very nice. They are very light and sort of wafer-y, if that makes sense. Uh, but, you know, I, I dig that. Uh, right, next. Ooh, we've got a big one. Good Lord, what's this going to be? Ooh. Japan Pride Potato. Uh, sorry, I have to stop for a second. Puraido Potato. And this is... Okay, I'm, I'm... This doesn't make sense to me. Ori... Bunruto. Okay, well, whatever it is, it looks interesting. Um, pride Potato. No, is it Pride Potato? Yeah, um, they're like... Uh, they're crisps, or potato chips. Don't know what flavour this is though, I can't work it out. I'm, maybe I'm just reading this wrong, but that is, uh, yeah, that is in katakana, so it should be an English word or a non-Japanese word. Anyway, let's see. This is Japan Pride Potato, and this is the crispy olive salt flavoured. So, I, I, I've just realised that, um, Oribu Soruto, so it's olive salt, um, that was just really hard for me to read for some reason. I just, my mind wasn't picking on it. I'll be honest, right? I'm just going to go on a limb. I don't like olives. I've had them a few times. I don't like eating olives on their own. But there is like olive salt and it's not actually olives. It's olive flavoured. So I mean, I'm, I'm more likely to enjoy that, to be honest. Ooh, we've got Otsumani Pret. Hey, Pret. Ooh, is this? Oh, no, I think it's, oh, hang on. We're reading the back. There we are. I think it's meant to be like held up like this, maybe. No, this is the back. What is going on? Okay, um, Chizu. I uh, can't read the rest, but that is Chizu. Um, not sure what the wine... Uh, is this like cheese and wine flavoured or something? That's cool. If so, I mean, I do like pretz. They are pocky without the chocolate, basically. They're savoury pocky. Let's see what these are. This is smoked cheese pretz. Um... There's a weird Mariah Carey thing there that all they want for Christmas is more. So these are limited edition. Smoked cheese sounds kind of interesting. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, as always, a lot of these snacks, not all of them, but a lot of them will be featuring on my Japanese snack reviews uh, coming up probably in the new year. Um, what is that? Um, so that is Sari. Sorry, uh, I can't read Suraimu, something slime. Sorry. Okay. Um, it's, it looks like a slime kit, I guess. It's slime, it's obviously the DIY, DIY thing of the month. Let's see what this is. This is Experimental Slime Jelly DIY. Um, so it changes colour. I think we had one... Was it like two or three crates ago? Uh, it did feature in Japanese snack reviews. Um, oh, and the Shin-chan thing. The Shin-chan thing was changing colours as well, wasn't it? That was cool. And that, ooh. Oh, yo! Oh my god, this is this is a blast from the past. This is uh, Irako Miruku. Okay. Yeah, Ichigo. Sorry, uh, Ichigo, not Ira. Sorry, Ichigo Miruku. Uh, this is strawberry milk. Oh, oh, right, okay, so, um, it's gonna say in the thing in a second, but this is in the shape of a Japanese, like, milk carton. I think for kids, it's sort of, like, triangular shape, and I think you tear off the top and drink it that way, or something. I think, um, I got a gachapon ages ago with, like, a coin purse that was in a milk carton sort of design. So, yeah, this is Ichigo milk. I think I've had this before. It's quite nice. It's strawberry chocolate. Let's check it out. This is Petite Strawberry Candy, um, and yeah, they are, they are, uh, strawberry flavoured, like, chocolates. And, oh, strawberry milk flavoured, actually, I think, so I do stand corrected there. Next up, ooh, 
Oh, yo, okay. Karamuchi, I think that is. Uh, super spicy no ri something. I can't read the kanji, unfortunately. And this is spicy, uh, super. Oh no, this is spicy. Uh, I mean, it, there's a chili there as well. I am always up for more potato chips and especially spicy ones. Honestly, Japan have actually been pretty good with making spicy potato chips and spicy things. Over here, uh, in the UK especially, when things are spicy, there's a 50-50 chance that it's going to be very mildly a little bit peppery or genuinely quite spicy, but Japan are more consistent. Anyway, let's see what these are. These are Karamucho Spicy Sticks. So they're actually um, sticks. They're not uh, potato chips, which is even better, because honestly, I find sticks last a little bit longer. Uh, it also mentions putting on your favourite Christmas movie. What is your favourite Christmas movie? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't know what mine is, actually. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. I was like, what have I grabbed here? No, oh, it's like a candy cane. Literally a candy cane. It's got a little candy in it. And it is a cane. That is very cute. What's on the... Uh, ah, it's a turkey. It's a turkey? Why is there a turkey? Is it chicken? Oh, because you eat turkey on Christmas, I guess. I'm so used to seeing turkeys for like Thanksgiving stuff. It's like, is this a bit out of date? But no, yeah, no, I, I get it now. Right, let's see what these are. This is a candy cane stick. So there's various colours, obviously. Um, and yeah, honestly, it, it, they do make a good point. It's like, huh, why have a boring mint candy cane where well, you can have one with chocolate in? I've never liked mint candy canes. I've had them a few times and, like, they're not that nice. Mint, mint is okay, I guess, but I don't know. It's just, it's not my kind of thing. Next, ooh, we've got a ball. We've got a strawberry. It's a strawberry. Uh, this is probably strawberry chewing gum. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take too long to look at this. Let's see what it is. This is strawberry gum, and is apparently bursting with so many flavours that you might have to fight Santa and his reindeer for it. Was that, is that a likely occurrence? Do, do people fight Santa a lot? What leads to fighting Santa? What do you have to do in life that Santa ends up wanting to physically fight you? That is interesting. Um, okay, we've got Roru Kinja. Cool. So it, it, this is, uh, I think, I think I've had this before. Um, this is probably an apple flavored, like fruit roll up kind of thing. Um, you know the deal. It's like a long, long strip of gummy kind of fruit flavored stuff. Very nice. Right. Let's see what this is. This is green apple candy. Uh, and also mentions you could add it to a gingerbread house as a decoration, which, yeah, I, I guess so. I've never made a gingerbread house. I think, uh, a family member did once and I watched and it seemed like a little bit of a lot of bother for something that's really not that cool. But we've got milk. Oh, I can't read. Uh, actually, hang on. Candy. Oh, okay. That's milk something candy. Min the milk flavoured candy, I'm going to guess. Let's see. That is milk pot candy. Uh, and... Yet again, the, there's like there's there's a whole theme there of like, hey, you could leave it out for Santa or take it for yourself. Honestly, by the way, that talking about Santa, I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk that really. Next up, ooh, we have chestnuts. Chestnut flavor Kit Kat is what I'm gonna guess. That is quite interesting. I don't think I've had chestnut. I swear I've had like. I swear I've had Christmas uh, Japan crates in the past, but I don't have a chestnut flavour. Let me double check. Hey, this is indeed chestnut flavour uh, mini Kit Kats, which is kind of cool. That's, uh, that's an interesting flavour, really. I I'd never thought of that, but I'm going to make sure, because the last thing, as always, we will end on a drink. And that drink... Uh, ooh. Oh, wait a second. Is that, uh, is that Mikey from Tokyo Revengers? I've never seen Tokyo Revengers, but I've seen the absolute amount of, um, like, the advertising for it and stuff. That sort of looks 
similar to the art style. Uh, hang on. Okay, that's something blend. I think this is going to be coffee, maybe. Um, yeah, that I swear that's... I think that's Tokyo Revengers. I can't quite read there, but it's Dido Blend. Dido Blend is the name of the drink. Right, I'll, I'm going to stop like looking at this can now and we'll work out what it is. This is Tokyo Revengers Coffee. Yeah, yeah I was right. So this is um, Cafe au lait, apparently. It's like a milky, a milky coffee thing. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. And, and there's one of eight designs. Now, I've not really seen the show. As I say, I'm aware of it. He, I think he had a crossover with Grand Summoners. Uh, a few of them did. And that's a mobile game I sometimes play. So that's where I recognise him. And as I say, all the merch. He seemed to be the popular one. Um, but yeah, this is kind of cool. I, I do like anime-themed things, even if it's, you know, milky coffee or whatever, which I'm not a big fan of, but hey, I'll, I'll give it a drink. Um, right, I'm going to go put everything back in the box now. We'll do a wrap-up and I'll eat one of these snacks. I don't know what I'm going to eat yet, but we'll see. All right, so I am back uh, and I've arranged everything in size order, kind of. And yeah, honestly, this has been a very cool crate. We've got quite a few interesting things. Um, that coffee is really cool. Definitely looking forward to the pretz and the super spicy, like, um, potato stick things. All these, like, savoury things. Diamond ring, obviously, I'm going to be doing that as a... Um, as, as something I'll be doing in Japanese snack reviews. Those green... T you know what? I have a green tea mochi thing, I think. Um... That is something I think I would quite enjoy. Uh, I'll go through that first and I'll have this at the end. Candy cane is cute. And it, it's a nice uh, it's a nice combo of Christmassy things, honestly. It is nice having like Christmas themed snacks or whatever. And you know, especially for the holidays, like, oh hey, I'll have some sweets, I'll have some, you know, chocolates or whatever. But yeah, right, I'm gonna go undo this and I'll be right back. That was a lot simpler than I thought it would be. So I really like the packaging. Uh now to slightly decimate it. So inside there are a few of these little parcels. Now, you might be thinking, well, unwrap it, but no. Uh, as I have learned, pretty sure I feature this in like one of my older Japanese snack review things. This plastic is intentionally here. It's edible plastic. It does dissolve in your mouth. Um, obviously, do double check, you know, on every snack this is the case. From 99% sure, otherwise I'm just going to be spitting out plastic. Um, so I'm not going to take a bite of this, I'm just going to put it in my mouth. But let me take a sniff. Yeah, you couldn't tell that was green tea at all. Anyway, I'm going to go have one now. Wow, that was really nice, actually. So um, if you're not a fan of green tea, I don't think you're going to like this. This is very strong um, taste of green tea. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this does contain a little bit of caffeine or something, because that was like that really did just taste of a really nice green tea, kind of like a matchery type. Um, I personally love that. It's a tiny bit sweet as well, obviously because it is a kind of, you know, it's a sweet. But yeah, man, overall, that was really nice. That was incredible. I might, like, add this to my list of things to buy again, because uh, you don't see a lot of green tea flavoured, like, chewy things, really. Um, but yeah, as I say, if you don't like the taste of green tea, this this is not going to change your mind. It is very strong. So I'm going to put that there. And that about wraps it up for the December 2022 crate from Japan crate. That's the that's a defunct uh, sentence. Anyway, I am now going to touch a topic that is a bit of an elephant in the room, you might have noticed. So I'm going to clear this away and I'll get on to that. BRB. All right, it's, I mean, it's in the corner, but it's cleared away. Anyway, I wanted to address two things, uh, basically. So, some of you at the start of this video might have been like, where's where's the November 2022 crate? Did I, did I miss that? Did I, where, where was that? Um, it hasn't arrived. I, I don't know where it is. Uh, I knew, so I did see an email that it is Persona 5 related. So they're doing some kind of like collaboration with Sega, which is fair enough. Um, I did get an email at the start of November, I believe, that was like, oh, hey, we're going to take a little bit more time to get everything ready for you. Um, but that was the start of November. Uh, and actually, when this arrived, I was like, oh, yeah, the Persona, the Persona um, themed creators arrived, finally. And I was like, wait, that's, that's Christmas design. What? 
Um, so I don't know what they're doing. I, they may have sent out an email that I just haven't seen, but I'm I, I'm missing out on a crate, uh, which I've paid for, which you know isn't isn't great. So I might send them an email. I think I might cancel my Japan crate subscription for now, and I might try a different uh, you know subscription crate in January or February. You know, d depends if I sign up for it too late or ever. But I might try Boxu. I think that sounds quite interesting because it does come with like a gachapon in it or whatever. Or I might just try a completely different kind of subscription box. There isn't snacks. I know, honestly, if we're going to talk brass tacks here, my Japan Crate videos do pretty well. I get pretty darn good views on them, like a thousand plus on most of them, which is crazy. For my channel, that is absolutely mental. But... To be honest, I'd prefer to try different things, even if I literally get five viewers on the new things. Whatever, I'm I'm happy. Uh, the other elephant in the room is if uh, if people are kind of up to date on Japan Crate with the October, the like Halloween themed one, there was something that they sent out about the trick or treat. Everyone gets a trick or treat kind of item, or you know, it's, a, it's probably a small thing or a gift voucher or something. I don't know. Um, but apparently every crate came with one of those. I was not aware when I filmed the video and then people in the comments were like, hey, where's your trick-or-treat uh, item? I was like, oh, I, I don't know, man. Um, so they did, apparently, and kudos to everybody in the comments that let me know about this. I think someone even emailed them to check out on it. So absolute thanks for that. They came back and said like, oh, hey, we're sorting it out. And that was mid-October. So I mean, make of that what you will. It does seem Japan Crate are having some issues at the moment. I don't know if it's like supply or maybe shipping from Japan or something. It could be a variety of things, but I mean, unfortunately, you know, I've not got a free gift that, to be honest, I don't really care about. If I never get the trick or treat item, I, it doesn't really matter to me. I wasn't aware it was a thing anyway. It's not why I subscribed. I subscribed because I really like the crates. You know, it, it would have been a cool, nice bonus, but whatever. But the fact I haven't received my November crate and the December crate has already arrived. I mean, I don't know. I It, it feels like there's some major stuff going on with Japan crates. So I'm going to leave her a few months. Hope it stabilises and we'll see from there. Anyway, sorry to kind of drag down the video at the end with a bit of negativity, but I just thought I'd go let you guys know and be transparent about it. So as I say, I am going to look into other crates. If you do have other recommendations, let me know in the comments below. I might even make like a poll or a post or something on YouTube to see if anyone's got anything to recommend. But you know, I I I'd like to experiment and see what else is out there. And then I might come back to Japan Crate as well, because I do genuinely love the snacks and I think... For the price, it's pretty decent. You know, it's not incredibly cheap, but you get what you pay for, I think. Um, right, and that wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. As I mentioned, I will be putting out Japan Japanese snack reviews soon. I think my October one isn't out yet, because I was going to wait for my November one to kind of motivate me to finish off October's, and that never arrived. Um, but we'll see. I'll be putting up one either in the new year or late December or something. And of course I'll be doing the Cardinder videos. So you'll have seen two videos in one day if you've kept up with all of my uploads. You don't have to. I don't. Uh, right. Well, I'll leave you go on now. Thank you guys very much for listening and for watching. And until next time, goodbye.